All right, my people, welcome back to another video. In today's video, what I'm gonna do is break down how you can calculate eBay fees for beginners or anyone starting out trying to sell on eBay in a very simple way so that you can start selling, listing products, and making profit for your business immediately. So let's go ahead and jump right into the computer. All right, so what you wanna do is come over and go to Google. You want to type in Auto DS eBay Fee Calculator, and you'll probably see it in your search uh, drop-down box. Click on that. And as you can see, it's the, t the top result on Google. It'll say eBay fees calculator, brand new update. When you get here, I'm gonna keep it really simple and assume that you're in the US and only selling two people in the US. This is not a video for international fees. This is just you selling the US and you're selling to other US buyers. So I'm gonna use an example that I will use again in a later video. So let's assume that we're selling iPhone cases. It's like my favorite example, just because it's easy, it's simple to understand and the price point is not too high so that everybody can follow along so let's say it's iPhone cases this will go under cell phone categories if you're selling anything else you will find the category that matches if it's not there click other categories but for this case we'll use cell phone accessories now what you want to do is scroll down most likely you'll be using as of January 2022 you'll be using managed payment processors but it could be PayPal and if you want to switch that you can but for now we'll stick with managed we can ignore these three things because one, we're not doing international payment. You're probably a beginner or starting out your store, so you don't have to worry about eBay store subscriptions or top rated plus. You have a simple account. Now, let's say we're selling an iPhone case for $5.99. That's your selling price. Now, the cost to acquire the product, whatever we paid in bulk or drop shipping is what you want to put in this box here. For me, it'll be $1.01. Now, the shipping price is what you would charge your buyer if they're paying for shipping. If not, you can keep this at zero, so I'm gonna assume we have free shipping. Shipping cost is what it's gonna cost you to send your package if you're doing it yourself, or if it's in, if you're doing drop shipping, you can just include it in the product cost and keep the shipping cost at zero. It's gonna sum up to the same thing. It's just gonna be the total of your expenses. Now. In my case, I'd be taking it in myself and shipping them out on my own. So we're gonna say, I'm just gonna make up a number. We're gonna say $2, right? But I'm gonna include the price that it would, that I paid for these packing slips behind me. There came up to 16 cent a piece. So we're gonna say $2 and 16 cent. Now, currently we're, we're at under $2 in profit, as you can see now depending on what your profit margins are and what you want to accomplish you can change certain things now i'm going to use promotion of five percent this is what happens when ebay promotes your product puts it in front of buyers and with that it allows you to be seen and you only pay when your product sells so i'm going to do five percent promotion it'll boost my product up in the search when people look for iphone cases that way i have a higher chance of getting sales and i can sell more units making up that five percent that i'm paying so when you look at everything we're selling it for six dollars or 5.99 the total expenses everything included comes up to three dollars and 17 cent ebay fees are a dollar and five cent because of the 5.99 price with ebay fees if you change the selling price the price of your fees change so you have to incorporate that every time you change your price so we're going to go back to 5.99 which will bring us up to a profit of one dollar and 47 cent now if you take off the promotion your profits will be higher. It will take you up 30 cents higher. It's just a preference what you want to do. But this is something that you can use so that you can profit and calculate your fees so that you understand every single cost that comes with your business and selling on eBay. So look, use this platform. It's really easy. Auto DS eBay fee calculator. It's an easy and simple way for you to calculate all of your costs to make sure that you have the correct profit margins so that you can run a successful business on ebay so i hope you all enjoyed this quick tip i wanted to make sure it was short to the point and informative and i'll see you in the next video